All right, boys and girls, last minute video to help you on this Saturday's ACT math. And this one is a cool little calculator hack. This calculator hack is to help you with matrices. And these show up all the time on the ACT and I wanna make sure that you are okay with them, especially on the TI-83 or TI-84 calculator. All you have to do for questions like this is press second matrix, go over to edit, Edit in your matrices, really matrix A is a two by two matrix. This is two, negative five, negative three and four. Now that you have edited in matrix A, quit out or just go back to second matrix and we're gonna edit in matrix B. Matrix B is a two by one matrix and this is two and negative one. Now that you've edited in both matrices, quit back out to the home screen, really pressing second quit or second mode. And now you're ready to actually do the math. You press second matrix again, put in matrix A times, again, second matrix, go down to B. Keep on, I'm not going over to edit. I'm actually clicking on the actual matrix. So enter on that, press enter, and voila, our answer is E. I'll do another one, so I'll clear out of that. Come over here, try this one. This is from a 2019 ACT. This one's probably one of the harder cases. But again, you have your calculator, so it's not that hard. Taking a look, they want C plus AB. Again, C plus AB, C plus AB. So nothing really all that different. Let's just edit it in our matrices. And of course, this is... It's a little bit time consuming just because we're first learning it. But once you get the hang of it, it's pretty quick. This is two, zero, three, negative one, five, negative two. That's matrix A. Now I want matrix B, so second matrix, edit in matrix B. Matrix B is a three by two, and that's negative three, one, four, one, one, two. A little tough to record this and put them in at the same time, but I'm trying my best. I put in matrix B and now I'm going to do second matrix and go over to edit, go to matrix C and I'm editing matrix C. This is a two by two question. This is zero, negative two, one, negative four. I put in my matrix C's and I'm pretty much done. I just have to slap them in using second matrix. And now Without editing, remember, we're done editing, put in matrix C, so I'll go down to matrix C, plus matrix, matrix A. I'm not even going to put the time symbol because it just assumes it's times. Boom. The answer here is letter B. Pretty cool. Of course, I'm teaching it and doing it and recording, so it takes me a little bit more time. But I promise you, once you get the hang of it, it's, all, it's not all that bad. Let's come down here for the last matrix skill, something that they have tested recently. It's called the determinant. And in case you forget the formula, the formula is AD minus BC. Sometimes they give you this, really. I call this the Chris minus cross skill. Why? Well, it's just Chris minus cross. In this case, it would just be four times three minus two times B. Of course, you'd set that equal to 18 and you'd solve. Your calculator can also do this trick if you want. Of course, by hand, it's pretty fast, but all you have to do is press, again, second matrix, go to math, and then det. D-E-T will take the determinant of whatever matrix you have. Of course, this one has a variable, so I'm not going to do this one using the calculator, and it's easy enough by hand. It's A-D minus B-C. So four times three minus two times B. We can just solve this. Of course, this is now 12, subtracting 12 from both sides, negative two B equals Six, guess what? B must have been negative three. I'm liking answer choice G. Tell me if that helped you with matrices, especially using the calculator on those first two harder questions. And if so, please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Good luck tomorrow.